Hello everyone, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill, and over there is John Lewandowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, good. I'm doing pretty good myself. I've had a bit of a one of these days for the last few weeks, but mm -hmm. it's it's literally just they're piling on top of each other. Yeah. Mental health, gotta be strong. All righty. Our show is brought to you by the one. Wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Please, please give us some likes on Facebook and give us a subscribe over there on YouTube. Thank you so, so much. Those are very, very much appreciated. So please, please help us out and support the cause. Yeah. We don't ask for any funding. We just ask for your likes and your opinions. So feel free to comment on any video if you don't disagree or if you do agree. We'll 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 interact with you in the comment section. We know that our videos are uploaded. We know that we're not live today, but we will interact with you when we see your comments. So, or if you have a question or want us to answer something on a future show or ask a question for a future show, we will make sure that you can inbox us if you don't want people knowing that on our page as well. Our, our message board is always open, even though sometimes our auto bot that we have in place, thank you, <laughs> um, <laughs> we may be away, but we will see it. Trust me, me and John check this stuff, like, first thing when we wake up. Like, literally, I wake up, first thing I do, grab my phone, transactions, <laughs> trades, rumors, <laughs> Facebook to check our stats. And what what we're doing. So literally, it's it's the teams first, then it's us. So to think that we're above something, we're definitely not. What we're saying is, feel free to like and comment. Anyway, John, take her away. All right. So the Predators took on the Canadians today. Shots on goal in the first period. Montreal outshot Nashville nineteen to eight. In the second period, Nashville outshot Montreal 14 to 9. In the third period, Nashville outshot Montreal 20 to 7. And in total, Nashville outshoots Montreal 42 to 35. <clears throat> now on the face-off circle, the Canadians are better at 55% to the Predators 45%. On the power play, the Predators went 0 for 3, the Canadians 2 for 3. Each team had 15 penalty minutes. The Predators had 29 hits. The Canadians had 23. Blocks, the Canadians had 26. The Predators, 17. Giveaways, the Canadians had 17. The Predators had 6. John, if you could give me a second and buy me some time, that would be great. Yeah. Um, tonight, making his debut was Yaroslav Askarov in net for Nashville. Um, he looked very good in his first start, I thought. I'm sorry, folks. I'm having a issue here. Something happened. I'm having a computer issue. There we go. You mean this guy? Yep. Um... I expect obviously great things of Yaroslav Askarov. Uh, John's never seen me go out of my way to get a personalized custom jersey just of someone. Right. I had I expect great things from him. And and here's the thing: I've had this in the making for months. So, <laughs> me and my family and John's known about it for months. Right. So, um. There's that. Yaroslav Askarov definitely played well. Uh, it, given that he's the youngest starting goaltender in Nashville Predators history now. Um, he's also uh, one of only three goaltenders to be drafted inside the top 15 in the last two decades. Wow. The other ones are... Uh, who was that they said? They said... I think it was Carey Price was the last one. Okay. And he was drafted number 
two or number three overall. He was in that top five. Right. And, and and for him to be even like I remember when he was drafted. I'm I, I'm sorry we're not really talking about the game here, but I'm gonna say this. When I remember when he was drafted, he said they said his comparison is to Carey Price. What number does he wear? Right. What number did the guy in the booth wear? Outside of when he played with St. Louis, which he wore fifty, because thirties retired over there. But, and yes, I am debuting this jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John knew it was coming. Yeah. The minute he got his NHL start, I was I was going to debut this jersey. I've been holding off on this thing for a little bit now. Um, I also want to thank the Admirals and uh, the Admirals uh, Director of Apparel, Sarah Schumer, um, for getting this done for me as well. Uh, thank you so much. Um, you know, when when you're grateful and 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 it's just bleh, I have no words. <laughs> I had something nice up here and then I just <laughs> when 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 you screw up in this, you have to make fun of yourself. Anyway, story of the first was Nito Nita Writer with his 13th with an assist from Robin Josie, who's been on fire lately in the assist category. Then Jake Evans scores his second with an assist from Dennis Savard, his eighth, and Joel Edmondson, his fifth. Then Kirby Doc got his seventh with an assist from Yolanin, his first, and Drew in his ninth. That wraps up scoring in the first. Scoring in the second period it was Philip Forsberg, his 18th of the year, assisted by Matt Duchesne, his 21st, and Yuso Parson in his 12th. Then scoring was Cole Caulfield with his 24th of the year, assisted by Suzuki, his 20th, and Drew in his 10th. I wanted to say something because, you know, Parsonen is quickly becoming himself a, a Calder candidate. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and this is the thing, like even TSN was saying it, he is right there on pace in the assist category with with Matty Berniers. Right. And, and Matty Bernier is – I'm not, not to take away from Parson, but Matty Bernier is a, is, is a centerpiece of that Seattle team. I don't think Parson had deceived that way in Nashville. Right. Um, And, and I, I do think that, that that's the thing. That's much like Cole Caulfield over there in Montreal. Cole Caulfield, former manager, got, I, th- I do have some love for him. Um, I think he's a very talented hockey player. Uh, reminds me a lot of former Predator uh, Steve Sullivan. Uh, if you remember Sullivan, a uh, little tiny winger, had a ton of speed, great shot, and, and, and wasn't afraid to get a little physical or play the game. Um, I did not like when Montreal consistently booed guys when they got hit. That's part of the game. Your guys are going to get hit. Stop booing. If I booed every time a French fan or an Admirals player got hit, I'd be spending the, my whole game just boo. So, you know, just to just to be on the real side, you know, just be kind and, and courteous to the other team playing in your building. I understand. Y'all are a little frustrated, but keep it up. Anyway, scoring in the third was Cole Caulfield with his 25th with his assist from Kirby Dock, his 19th and John. Justin Druin, his 11th. That was scored on the power play at the 6.15 mark. Then, Yuso Parsonen. Again, yet another reason he's being considered one of the Calders. Fourth goal of the season with an assist from Matthias Ekholm, his 11th. Preds fall 4-3 to three to Montreal. Um, When we say this isn't Yarrow's fault, it's not Yarrow's fault. Right. Um, On the power play... Cole Caulfield's a lot like Obi. <laughs> um, and, and I do believe that. Um, he was screened. There were two on ones. There was a deflection goal. Um, just not his, not not a good night defensively for the Preds. Um. So he stopped 31 of 
35 with an 88.6 save percentage that's not reflective of anything else otherwise. Um, in that for the Montreal Canadiens was Sam, uh, Samuel Montebo. He stopped 39 of 42 with a 0.929 save percentage. Your referees were Michael Markovic and Pierre Lambert. Lines that were Matt McPherson and Jesse Marquis. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for Montreal is Marty St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I always had love for Marty St. Louis. I, Me I, too. I, he was a great hockey player. And he's done a great job with this Montreal team. Um, They're very tough to play against. Um, Nashville uh, scratches Mark Jankowski, Kevin Lankinen, who's day-to-day -day with an illness, and Michael McCarron, who's still in player safety. Ne Montreal. Jake Allen out day to day with an injury. Michael Pizzato or Michael Pizzata. scratch. Mike Hoffman day to day injury scratch. All one right, of these things. CBS Sports. Thank you for all your helpful information. <laughs> all right. Well, the three stars of the game. Third star was Jake Evans from Montreal. Second star was Jonathan Druin from Montreal. And first star was Cole Caulfield from Montreal. Nothing like being a bunch of hovers. <laughs> <laughs> Parsonen should at least been on there. And I think that because Parsonen played a good game, but that's just me being a homer too. All right. So I thank you all for watching. Tomorrow is a scheduled day off. Doesn't mean we'll be off. <laughs> As we know... Anything can happen. But we pray because we need it going into this stretch where we'll have, what, seven days or eight days with a game? Yeah. So, I mean, Friday, wait, we have a game Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I believe Sunday of next week is our next day off. Let me double check this. So bear with me as I move towards my calendar here. But I may be wrong. <sighs> calendar. Yeah, the 22nd is our 22nd, 23rd. We're get back to back, but we have seven straight days of a show. So Here's what's coming up for us. On Saturday, we've got the Admirals at Texas at the HEV Center in Cedar Park with the Preds and the Sabres at, in Nashville. By the way, Preds fans, if we lose, I'm wearing my Sabres jersey. Fair one. Um, I'm hoping we don't. Watch out for Tage Thompson. Just saying. Very good hockey player. Uh, then we got the Admirals at Texas again. Then we have the Flames in Nashville. Then we have the Blue Jackets in Nashville. Then we have Springfield in Milwaukee, which me and John will probably be at. Um, then we have the Preds in St. Louis. Then we are at Iowa. Iowa. Then we have the Preds uh, in Nashville versus the Kings and the Admirals at Iowa. Then we're off for two days, and then they play again, and the Admirals get five days off again. Can we stop doing that? All right. There's a spot in February where me and John have four days consecutively off. I'm sure we'll find something to do in those four days. <laughs> yeah, it's called the All-Star Game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's called covering the All Star game, like, cause yeah, now All Star. Just so that you guys are aware, him and Tommy Novak. Um, I could see Novak getting sent down on a paper transaction as the Preds are off. Right. Um, Tommy deserves that. 
He definitely does. But we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. Daniel Goodemo, John Lewandowski, signing off.